Well, my name's Megan Lind. I'm the UVM Fencing Club president. And I'm Keegan Harris. I'm the sergeant at arms at the UVM Fencing Club. I started my freshman year of high school um, and I was on the varsity team for my high school career so and then I got here and I just really wanted to continue fencing. I've also been fencing for about um, 10 or 12 years um, although I got into competition fencing a little bit later um, and so I joined the, the club here as soon as I transferred to EVM and have been a member since. How has the fencing team been a part of your UVM experience and how has it affected your um, life here while you've been on campus? For me, um, it's been central. Um, I, I, like I mentioned, I transferred here. So I never, I've never, i never lived in a dorm on UVM campus um, and so I met the bulk of my friends through the fencing club or, you know, friends of friends through fencing. Um, and it's a really, it's just a, it's a wonderful sport um, in, in terms of sort of a social interaction because of, it, it's, it's very personal in its execution, but you have to work with other people really closely in order to get good at it. And, um, and we do that well here. Yeah, I, I think we're a pretty tight-knit club, and, and I think we're, I, I'm proud anyway that we have a really good record of bringing up beginners, that about 50% of the people that we send to nationals every year oh, wow. um, had no prior experience. What? What does your typical season look like? What are kind of some events that you participate in and how has your season looked so far this year? Well, our competition season is, we compete in three or four leagues. Um, we're we're a, a United States Fencing Association club um, and so we compete on a local level with other community clubs from um, Vermont, um, one from New Hampshire and one from New York or in the same division. Um, and then we compete with the U.S. USA CFC, which is the <laughs> Nationals um, organization. They put on Nationals every year. And then we also are a member of the NEIFC, which is New England Intercollegiate Fencing, Fencing Confederation yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. And we're also a member of the... So we fence in, so we fence in, a, in the uh, kind of a local non-collegiate league. We fence in a um, national uh, collegiate club league. We fence in a New England um, both club and varsity league. And we fence in a um, New England clubs only league. And our first big competition um, this weekend. is this weekend. Is, <laughs> Perfect. Is Saturday, the big one, the Smith Invitational. How many people are usually at these 
big events. Would this you say how many? The big one is called the big one because there will be 515 dancers. Wow. Yeah. And we're fielding seven or eight or nine. How, how many, many are, are we bringing? sending? We're bringing um, 12 fencers. 12 fencers. Total. Wow. Some so, support yeah. staff. And the cool thing about this tournament is that, as Keegan said, it's clubs and varsity teams. Wow. So we'll be competing against varsity teams as well. And we're a successful, you know, at competition, we're a, we're a successful club, especially our women's squads. Megan is currently third in the nation. In the wow. Nation, um, and our, our women's FA squad is first in the nation. Wow, good for you Two years ago, Joanna Flynn was first in the nation for foil, and our women's foil squad was fifth. So we, we routinely do quite well, I think, especially considering the yeah. size of our club. Do you have any uh, interesting stories from your time on the fencing team? Anything funny or like a uh, key moment? <laughs> I just think nationals last year when we got into that gold medal bout, we all freaked out. And I, I like everyone was just like <coughs> hugging each other and like I'll just never forget that. There was, was there was so a, cool. a really great moment that you weren't there for because you were fencing. <laughs> but um, when you guys beat um, I think Pitt. Yeah. Um, our, our coach Dan Crockett came over to me, and uh, and he, and, you know, I was just there spectating. And and he, this was only in probably the round of eights, I should say. This is well, you know, well along in the tournament. There, there was still a lot of fencing to go though, and they beat Pitt, and um, and Crockett came over and said something along the lines of, "They're gonna do it. They're gonna, they're gonna win it." And, and I was like, yeah, they really, they might, they just might. And he was like, no, no, they're going, they're gonna. And then, and he, and you know, and it was really, it almost seemed like from then on, they just cruised through it. There were some moments where it, yeah, it might have oh been gosh. close, but, but <laughs> it was, it was great.